Welcome to Electra Online. For our last example in this playlist, well, we have kind of an interesting uh, example here. We have a radical, we have the sine square, we have a sine x, cosine x. You wonder, is that even possible to integrate that? But what I always recommend is that you get rid of the radical, put it into exponential form, so when you do that, it will look as follows. This is equal to the integral of the quantity 1 plus the sine square of x to the minus one half power, because it came from the denominator, times the sine of x, times the cosine of x, times dx. And once it's in this form, what you can then do is you say, well, what's inside the parentheses, I'm going to let that equal u. So u is equal to one plus the sine square of x, and therefore my du dx, is equal to the derivative of one is zero, and the derivative of this would be two times the sine to the first power of x times the derivative of the sine of x, which is the cosine of x. When I multiply by dx, I get du is equal to two times the sine of x times the cosine of x. Then you realize, huh, that's why there was a sine of x and cosine of x in the numerator. If that wasn't there, then you couldn't integrate it. Hmm? Yes. Oh, I'm missing my dx. You're right, thank you. I'm talking so much, I forgot about my dx. Okay, and now what we realize here is that we have the sine of x, cosine of x, dx, but I don't have the 2, which means that I need to multiply this by 2, of course, also divide by 2. Now I have my u to the minus 1 half, and this here is my du. And so that will drop off when I integrate. So I'm simply going to integrate this. So that becomes equal to 1 half times the quantity 1 plus the sine square of x raised to the exponent plus 1, which is 1 half power, divided by the new exponent plus a constant of integration. You can then see that the 1 halves cancel out. And so you're left with 1 plus the sine square of x to the 1 half power plus the constant of integration, or if you like the radical better, you could say 1 plus the sine square of x plus a constant of integration. And so that's how we integrate something like that. What if you pick the wrong du? Oh, wrong you, I mean. oh yes. Um, yeah, sometimes you'll pick the wrong u. That can happen, especially when it gets more complicated and uh, then it won't work, then you want to get the proper du, then you try a different one. And then you keep trying until you find the right u with the right du.